You know, that last episode last week, we talked about when's the best time to call. Mm -hmm. And I honestly believe any time deer season is open. But on this past episode, right. because we saw a big deer and he was trying to get him to come to him, and, he's, and this deer never paid no attention to Jordan. He just kind of kept walking by, following that buck in front of him. And I happened to look to the right, and here comes another deer coming to the call. And so one thing I will say about, about calling deer is, know your surroundings, know what you got around you. And we were blessed because we had a wall behind us, which was the water from the Mississippi River, and no deer can come from behind us, so they had to come in front of us. Perfect, perfect calling scenario. Absolutely, that buck roar too, like I said, it's a, it's a deadly combo. A buck roar in a can, you can make any kind of scenario to sound like yeah. rutting deer activity, you know, when it paid off for them. Gives them realism. Gives, you, you, gotta, you gotta put that, that thing in their mind where they're thinking, I'm missing out on a party. And what about that old crazy old deer that Wilbur killed with you? Look, Wilbur, Wilbur saw that deer, immediately he turns to me and he goes, I'll shoot him, I'll shoot him, I'll shoot him. <laughs> Wilbur would rather shoot, and I think we all would, because we talked about this three episodes ago. There's nothing that fires up, us up more than an old, mature buck that's already gone downhill and has pretty much done his prime. And, was old and that's too. the one you got to take out, man. He was old. And then Morgan, she'd been hanging in there. She finally connected she with did. one on this. And she the did. same kind of deal. I know we talk about it a lot, but that 360 blind just makes such a difference. Yeah. Another cool thing about that is, is think about this. In that blind, they had a successful hunt. There was three people in there, yeah. three full-grown people yeah. in that blind, and they weren't like all scrunched up. And you've done that many around. times, yeah. especially with you and Keith Polk and his, actually four y'all. Yeah. <laughs> two of y'all and two kids. And don't get me wrong, they're small boys, but when's the last time you put four people in a shooting house? You can't do it. And, and comfortable. When's the last time you put four people in a tree stand? Can't do it. There's just so much more you can get away with those things. We need to come up with a blind and call it the family sedan. <laughs>